They got the fire out. Here they are. It's Ozzy Osbourne and Kelly Osbourne. Thank you both for coming on. It's so lovely to see you again, Ozzy. It's lovely to meet you for the first time, Kelly. Nice to meet you too. Now, here's the thing about Ozzy, I think, is you're in danger of becoming a national institution over here. You're about as well-loved as the Queen Mother was, I think. Now you're getting, uh, <laughs> that's something I, I don't think you could afford it's, to see. It, it's, it's, it's a total surprise because we, MTV approached us to do a thing called Cribs. Then that went down incredible and, and then they, they wanted to do a series. And the next thing, I oh know, it just like exploded, yeah. you know. It's huge. And it was your birthday this week, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah yesterday. How old are you now? 23. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 55. 55? Wow. I'm well, no. I'm, I'm 55. I, know, I, know. I thought you were 56. I think he's 56 as well. Shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> well, this is nice. I was going to ask you where you get it all from, but I think now we know. Um, what did you get your dad for his birthday? Um, there's this... Oh. No, that's not true! Well, I suggest next I, year, uh, you get him a swear box LA. next year. <laughs> there's this guy in LA who's a Hells Angel and he makes his leather jewellery boxes. Uh -huh. And Mum gave it to you before she left as a gift from her, but I got it for you. Well, that oh, sounds I thought that, that's where you put your ashes when you're doing that grimace. No, and... it's really cool because he's always losing his jewellery bit, so it's just like you can just chuck it on there and it's handmade, it's really cool. You know what, I can see already that you, you have a real respect for your dad. I can yes. see you're being, you're, I mean, you're correcting him and you're putting up with some, you know, verbal abuse from him there. <laughs> You have no her. I, we have heard her. We've all seen it. Um, that's the funny thing, though. You couldn't have foreseen, I think, the success that that show would have. And the fact that here's a show about your life, which then goes on to change your life as much as you did. Because I know you had ambitions in what, but really, without the series, it wouldn't have happened oh, as no. quickly for you, would it? I mean, it wouldn't have happened unless he was my father or I was on a TV show. Well, before we get on to the fact that you guys have uh, recorded together, which is, you know, it's lovely and it's a lovely song. It's one of your old songs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an incredible career as a, a, a rock and roller you've Abs had. Absolutely. I mean, that, 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 I mean, life's so full of surprises. I mean, I, I, I couldn't... I've had one of the most incredible journeys that you can imagine. Yeah. Well, really, I would have thought, you know, um, theoretically, you should be dead now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, the life he's led, come on, you must know. I, 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 went to, I did go to sell my body to medical science and I said, there's nothing there we want. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now you, you, you had your first hit, Paranoid was the first big hit. Album, 1970. Wow, so that's way back when, 20, uh, what's that, 33 years ago. And now uh, I believe next February you're coming back over and you're going to be playing Wembley yeah. and Birmingham NEC. Yeah. There's not many uh, people in rock who can you know, have that kind of staying power and who can still command an audience like that. I, I don't know the answer, I'm, but I'm not complaining. I mean, I, I mean, I have such a great fan base, and the fans, it's, 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 it, without them, I wouldn't be here, or the TV show. Let's say uh, let's, uh, let's a clip of the single. This is the, the single which the two of you got together. This is the first thing. Are you doing more together? Are you going to do an album together? Or are you no. Gonna... It's still going to become like the next Peters and Lee. <laughs> There is, a, there is a similarity, it's got to be said. <laughs> but your glasses are just for show, though, aren't they? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Peters and Lee, you don't hear them mention much anymore. <laughs> Who were your contemporaries then, back in 71? Did you do Top of the Pops much? Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we got some number two with Paranoid, and Band of Gold got number one. <laughs> and we were pissed off. Free to Pain and Band of Gold. Yeah. So you ever want to talk to him, you play that song and say, that song! He just doesn't like it. No. Were you around, were you, did you ever do Chop of the Pops at the same time as Lieutenant Pigeon? <laughs> well, now, now... <laughs> they're an underrated band. <laughs> Do you remember they had a number one with Mouldy Old Doe? Oh, yeah! <laughs> no. Kelly... <laughs> I was going to tell Kelly to go off and do her homework, but we had a chat about the Golden Age of Rock then. Let's have a look. This is uh, the video, or part of the video, of Ozzy and Kelly together for the first time. We share the That's lovely, isn't it? That's lovely. Well, you know, I would happily see that as our Christmas number one. 
Um, it's out on Monday, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Changes. It's uh, Ozzy and Kelly Osbourne. What are you doing for Christmas, guys, before we say We're going to be here. Here in the UK? Yeah. Do you live at home with your mum and dad anymore? Well, or you you I'm moved really out? I'm drama in that. I bought a house and then decided that I was too scared to live by myself. Mm -hmm. So I fixed it up, which is really fun to do, and I'm selling it now. Right. And then I got an apartment so that whenever my parents piss me off, I could go there. And, and what do they do that pisses you off? It's just annoying. So I... She tries to catch us having sex. Oh, yeah. I did. Oh. It's so not true. <laughs> it's so not true. Whenever the bedroom... My parents have the same. We never shut the bedroom door because it's just from when we were kids, if we ever needed anything, they would just never shut the door. So now, whenever the door's locked, you know... They're doing They're it. They're messing. We're not. We're between messing. It's, it's called love making, darling. Old people don't fuck. It's nice. What you? Old people don't. No. <laughs> uh, have you actually caught them in the act? Once. Um, and it wasn't my fault. I probably didn't go to school. I had to go to summer school. And every morning before I went to school, my mum would make me go in there and say, "Okay, I'm leaving now." Yeah. So she knew and you were going to school. Yeah. yeah. And they had the door open, and I just walk in to say bye. <laughs> And I, and I was scarred. I was what? scarred Mama for dad, life. Mama, dad, the humping. Mama, dad. It was, I was scarred for life. And then scarred dad, for life. yes. <laughs> and then he, and he said, oh, we're just cuddling. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to school now. And I left. But it's not, don't you think, though, really, that it's nice your mum and dad still feel that way no. each other? <laughs> don't, don't you feel but, that, that it's nice that he still has the energy? Viagra. <laughs> Good stuff. They should... Hey! Can I tell you something about Viagra? It's a great sleeping pill. Because you take one, and then by the time it works, your wife's asleep. <laughs> that is a terrible moment, the first time. Do you remember... Did you ever catch your mum and dad doing it, Ozzy? No. No. It was... Mm -hmm. That was the forbidden room. The house could be on fire, but you never, you never open the door. But how weird is that, then, that your life, your upbringing, was so different? To your kids. Be because I, I think, I, I, on a serious note, I think it's very important as a parent. If my kid comes home and she go and they go, Dad, I'm HIV positive. That, that's. I mean, I mean, last year Sharon went around for a colonoscopy, yeah. and she came out and she had cancer. It's, it's, it's a, that that kind of. I'm not good with that kind of bad news, and I and so, therefore. I, I tell them to wear protection, you know. You, so, so the honesty you think uh, that you have with your children you gotta is, be real is for the good. You, yeah. you, you have to be real. Because but it's always the, the talks at the most inappropriate time, like you're leaving and you're going on like, your first date with somebody or like I'm sat with my boyfriend, he's, she's, he's like, do you guys do it? And we're like, <laughs> dying. Like, well, okay. do you? F off. <laughs> Do you ever worry that the way you were with them actually got the kids into any kind of trouble? Because I know Jack had a recent bout with, um, uh, was it, it with drugs it, and it, booze? It, it, or? It was, there's a new th uh, thing, a uh, craze out there called oxycontin. It's like synthetic heroin. It's right. like synthetic heroin. Uh, it's a new rage out there. It used to be... I don't know, so, what, 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 Whatever it was, you probably sampled it. I, I had the word. Yeah. But do you ever wonder the fact that... Because oh, no, I, I admire it, your honesty with your children. Do you know what it was? It was more, f from my point of view, it would teach me more not to do it. But I think that it, it was particularly hard on Jack because he also is younger than me and a boy, and boys mature a lot slower than girls. And having to deal with growing up in the public eye and being judged for being yourself kind of took its toll on Jack. And as well as dealing with my mom being sick and just not knowing who you are as a person is it's kind of a hard thing to go through and wait, wait, I think with the type of people that he was hanging out with I mean that was the the road the, that he was the, going he, he was he was self medicating because he was so frightened that his mum was going to die yeah because it was real I mean I don't know about any, anyone in the audience who gone through someone with cancer he's saying something it's not like a common cold yeah. it, 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 it was really Hard and the you think you're going to lose her, but we should make it clear that she's through that. I believe. Yeah. Is that right? she's, she's totally cancer free. Which is wonderful news. Last mm -hmm. time you come and see her, Sharon, with you, I know she's back in the uh, the states. Please give her my love and pass on the well wishes of everyone over here. Um, good luck on the tour next year. Thank you very over much. Here. Kelly, lovely really to nice meet you. Meeting. How Thank nice you. to meet you. I feel like I know you because I've seen you on the show <laughs> so much, but it's really lovely to meet you in person, ladies and gentlemen. Kelly and Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> that was lovely. Thanks, Oz. Thanks to all my guests on the show.